Hey wig sisters, it's Megan coming to you with another wig review. We got hair mail again. I actually got this a couple of weeks ago and just have not had time to put it on my head. So I am so excited and I'm excited you're here to join me. First things first, this wig is Blake by John Renault in the color 12 FS8. It is a human hair, fully hand tied wig. It is the most expensive wig that I own and so I don't wear it quite often. So let's take it off. Bye bye, Blake. And the wig we're gonna look at today is Camellia by Beltress. This is in the color English Toffee, which is actually a brand new color for me. Uh, I've not gotten anything this dark. Uh, it is probably pretty close to my natural hair color, which, you know, I haven't seen in a really long time. So let's try her on. So Camellia is a faux mono top wig from Beltrass, meaning you can part it on either side. And she has some beautiful curls here that uh, I'm probably gonna take some of those out because they're a little bit Shirley Temple, I guess, to me, but here we go. So this English toffee color is beautiful. It's like a medium brown with maybe like a I don't want to say auburn, but it definitely has some warmth to it. Uh, it does feel like a little bit of like a dark auburn or dark honey uh, kind of color that is going through the uh, dark brown color here, the medium brown. And so it gives it a really nice blend. I would say if you have uh, looked at wigs before that are you know, made for women of color, and you've seen a color called uh, 42730. It looks a lot like that to me. So let's there, get, let me get the tag off. So again, Beltrass <coughs> Camellia. This is a heat friendly style in the color English Toffee. So first things first, she does have these luscious curls. She's a really long style. I don't know how long they said this was, but I'm gonna guess this is 24, 25 inches. Um, I'll put that in the description, I'll figure it out. But um, again, like I said, this is a full mono top, which is getting to be kind of rare, honestly. Uh, this is a really nice luxury feature because this means that you have this monofilament all along the top of the crown of the wig, so you can part it anywhere that you want and it will be totally unnoticeable. And then you also have this lace front. Now, some people do not like these full mono tops with the lace front because sometimes you get separation here. So this is like a silicone piece that heat seals the lace to the monofilament. And so if you're wearing it a lot, you're tugging on it, you're using a lot of heat, sometimes this will separate. If that happens, it's not a big deal. All you gotta do is go to Walmart get something called transparent or invisible thread. It's right with the rest of the thread. It looks like tiny little fishing line. So you use that and the smallest needle you have and you just stitch it back up. It's totally invisible. Nobody can see it. It's no big deal. So don't worry about that if you're concerned about that. Uh, don't, you know, don't not experience the benefits of having a nice full mono because you're afraid that's gonna split. So let's go ahead. Oh, she does have for those of you who are not familiar with Beltrass, she does have the um, adjustable tabs here. You just pull on these to make this tighter so you can adjust to your head size. Now this I believe is supposed to be good for 21 to 23 inches. My head size is 22 and a half. Uh, they do tend to run a little bit small on me. My back of the nape to top of the hairline is a very large measurement. Uh, I like this watermelon head. So um, for most people, it's fine. So let's go ahead and put her on. The nice thing about the full mono top, the caps are so comfortable because there's no wefting in the top. So there's nothing that is like sits down and just kind of holding it, you know, where it goes. So um, they just, I feel like they're more comfortable. Now, obviously hand tied is more comfortable than everything, but uh, here we go. Oh boy. It's been a long time since I had a dark color like this. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
tell me in the comments. I can take it. I'm a big girl. Uh, about the hair. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm old. I know I'm overweight. And I know I'm fabulous. So you can, you don't have to tell me all of those things because I do know them. Um, I mean, you can tell me I'm fabulous if you want. I'm okay with that. But anyway, uh, wow. So I think this is one that was used during a live video. Uh, I did get a discount on this. I got a great deal from um, wigparty.shop. So shout out to Christy Daly and Megan Farron over there at wigparty.shop. They have some incredible deals uh, as an authorized Beltrass retailer. And uh, well, you should just go to the site and, and hear about their mission because it's pretty amazing. And um, this was a secret friend sale that I got. And this might be the one uh, during a live, Christy actually, you know, like combed out one side to relax the curls a little bit and left the other side. I think that might be this one. Let's just see. Yeah, because you can see this side's way longer. Oops. That was a bad shot. Anyway. <laughs> oh, brother. Let me find my comb. Okay. So what I have is my trusty wide tooth comb. You can buy these at Sally Beauty Supply for I think like $2. I have a whole drawer full of them because I have one in my purse, in my car. I lose them, leave them everywhere. So uh, I am just going to spray a little water over here. Kind of train that away from my face. You know, for being a brown color, which I didn't really know how I was going to feel about it, it does have a lot of dimension. It has it has a fair amount of dimension. Now, it's not as much dimension as like brown sugar sweet cream or mocha with cream. It's not as much of a, you know, delineation between the colors, but it's definitely not flat. It's not just, you know, one color that you're looking at. Uh, so I think that's just beautiful. It's Beltrass just does such a good job with these. And so this side you can see is, you know, a lot curlier. This isn't my favorite curl pattern. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just take my wedge tooth comb. We're going to start from the bottom, as you should always do. Sometimes I forget. Uh, we're going to start from the bottom and just gently go up and release some of those ringlets. Now the nice thing about Beltrass heat friendly wigs is if you do not apply heat, when you wash your wig, these curls will come back. Now, if you, you know, say you use a hot airbrush or you use a curling iron or you use a flat iron to kind of tame various pieces, then you will have to restyle it because once you've applied heat, that's how it's going to dry the next time you wash it. So, but you can see I'm just getting this really nice, like beachy wave going on. Gosh, this is such a gorgeous style. Christy, I wish I bought more. Shh, don't tell my husband I said that, okay? Wow, this is a gorgeous, I love this. So, now that I have brushed her out, she kind of comes down to like the bottom of my bust line and you can see my bust line is not small. <laughs> so this is a very, very long wig. Uh, it's not as long as Allegra 28, which I also have, um, but it is longer than Dolce 23 uh, when it's brushed out like this for sure. So it is a very long style. Now the nice thing about wigs is just because they come this way doesn't mean you have to leave them this way. So if you feel like, gosh, I love this, I love these curls, it's so beautiful, I wish that it was, you know, five inches shorter, you can cut it. You can take it to your stylist, have them cut it if you've never, if you don't know what you're doing with that. Um, but they're totally customizable and you can make them your own and you should because you know they're expensive so they should look right on you right so oh man this i'm honestly i'm shook people because this is a really really comfortable cap even on my very large head the cap is comfy and the color is just gorgeous they've done this so well let's just come up so i'm gonna come up so you can see the hairline beltrass hairlines 
are just insane. I mean, that lace front is just done so well that you really can't, you know, I've had people standing right on top of me and they're like, oh, I love your hair. And I'm like, it's a wig, you can have it too. And they'll look at my hairline and they'll be like, no, no. And so I'll just do this. <laughs> and then they always freak out. It's fun. It's a fun thing to do. I encourage it. So, um, wow. Yeah, so this, these hairlines are gorgeous. You can pull this back. You can put it in updos. You can style it. You know, even if you wanted to do like a couple of braids or something on the side, or you want to do some Dorothy, you can do that. Uh, this would be, <laughs> I do a lot of theater wigs, so I'm thinking like this is a fantastic wig for like Belle for Beauty and the Beast. I mean, how gorgeous is this? So, um, wow. I, want, I think that Beltress is discontinuing this style. And I gotta tell you, I think that's a mistake because I really love this. This cap is so comfy. These curls are so beautiful. It's so versatile. There's so much that you can do with it. Um, let me just turn around and show you the back. Sorry, I'm not working with a lot of room here. My husband has a bunch of people over, so I'm like not in my normal spot. But there we go. But you can see, you know, I'm five foot two. And this is, is long. It's definitely a long wig. I don't know if I will keep all this length, but I will for at least a little while anyway. Um, so because the lace front stops like at the temples. So let's see where it is for me. So for me, this monotop goes from here to here. And I probably have it on crooked. So let's go ahead and, yeah, I do. All right. So it has the ear tabs, so I'm bending those down to go closer to my head. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror that's over there too. Um, and you can see like my bio hair is right here. And if I pull that out, it just looks like a cool highlight, right? <laughs> I probably wouldn't pull out that much. But um, yeah, the lace front goes from like here to here. And so when I pull this back, anything from there to there is going to look like it's growing out of my head. Now you will find this in this style of cap, you'll have this line of de demarcation where the lace front stops and the wefted part of the cap begins. So what you need to do is just don't go that far, right? So you can just pull out a little bit of this over here and if you just leave a little bit out, and you can even pull your bio hair out if it's in a, in a close enough color or a color that you can fake with eyeshadow, which you can, you can totally do that and pull out your own hair, whatever color it is, and you can put eyeshadow or spray color, root cover, whatever you, whatever you have to make your bio hair match the wig that you're wearing at the hairline. I highly recommend that. It really... Uh, makes it look more realistic. It saves you when the wind blows. Um, it's just amazing. So I would use like a hair clip. I don't have one. I'm just putting the scrunchie in here so you guys can see. And again, my phone like isn't the best at showing me how this looks, but you know, you can see, you can totally get away with that, right? You can totally get away with that. There's nobody's gonna know that that's not your hair. So yeah, you can do a lot with these and uh, I encourage you to try that with all of your wigs. Just try fooling with them because you know, that's what they're there for, they're yours. It's your hair now, you can do whatever you want. So let's try. Let's do the Kate Middleton, the side part. Ooh, that's nice. Am I still old if I wear a side part? I've been doing a center part, but I really don't like it. 
Wow. Just gorgeous. His hair is so soft too. Um, it just, Beltras just has tremendous, tremendous quality wigs. Uh, it's really the only synthetic wig that I wear with regularity because the other ones just frustrate me. Uh, but this, again, Camellia, English Toffee, Beltras. I think you're going to love it. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you have questions, comments, please put them in the comments down below. And I will try to pay attention. I love you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.